Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Canadian Shield, your trusted source for analysis. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. I was uh, looking at a poll, and it, I stumbled upon some information that I found really fascinating. And it's about whether how people feel whether they trust the two um, contenders, Paul the Ever Trudeau. So I was researching into the story and I came across this little tidbit of information, which was actually quietly released on the 1st of October. And it it is bad for the Trudeau and the Liberal government. I don't believe that the Trudeau government should really try to govern anymore. It's that bad. Why trust matters more than ever. I got it from Abacus Data. And ultimately, they asked 1,700 people about trust between Pierre Polyev and how they trust Justin Trudeau. Trust is not just nice to have. It's an essential quality in an era where public skepticism is sky high and the political landscape is increasingly polarized. And while it's true politicians generally have a hard time developing and keeping trust with the public, it is essential ingredient determining whether or not people believe what you say, buy into your vision, and feel confident you'll deliver. It is not just about avoiding scandals or gaffes. It's about constantly, consistently showing that you are who you say you are. We broke down trust into several core attributes that we believe form the foundation of how Canadians judge whether a leader is trustworthy. These included whether a leader is open and honest, whether they treat people fairly and with dignity, and whether they take responsibility for their actions, full list is below, the responsibility for their actions, uh-oh. These attributes aren't just relevant to politics. Think of the most trusted brands or employers. They inspire confidence because they deliver consistency and reliably. They are transparent, fair, and accountable. The same is true for political leaders. A tale of two leaders, Trudeau versus Polyev. So how do Canadians feel about Trudeau and Polyev right now? For Justin, the numbers paint a challenging picture. <laughs> that's a pleasant, that's a... I mean, wow. 6% of Canadians have a very positive view of him. 16% hold a somewhat positive view, which is why when you look at the polling, it comes in around 22%, right? 16% are neutral. I don't know who these people think they are, that they can just remain neutral on the leadership of the country that's fallen to tatters all around them. Maybe they were just nervous. 20% are somewhat negative and 41% have a very negative opinion. Only 1% don't know how to form an opinion. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's always one. 61% of the people they polled do not trust Justin Trudeau or they have a negative opinion of him, even, even worse. In contrast, Pierre Polyev's numbers show a brand, a more balanced and positive, albeit divided landscape. 17% have a very positive view. 17% is three times what uh, Justin Trudeau is getting. 22% have a somewhat positive view. So combined, that becomes 39%. 19% are neutral. Again, I don't, I don't know how you think you can maintain neutrality. 10% are somewhat negative. And 27% hold a very negative opinion, while 5% say they don't know enough to have an opinion. So right out of the gate, we got to remove 24%, right? Between the neutral and they don't have an opinion. These numbers give us a snapshot of public sentiment. But to really understand why Canadians feel the way this way, we need to dig deeper into the drivers behind these impressions. How Trudeau and Paulia perform on trust attributes. The chart below provides an assessment of how Canadians perceive key attributes of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. It shows that Less than half of the respondents feel Trudeau embodies the trust attributes asked about in the survey. Less than half. The highest positive ratings are for safeguarding confidential information. Yeah, I guess, hey, acting according to his principles and valuing others' opinions and treating them with dignity. Lower ratings are given for doing what he says he will do and delivering reliable, predictable results across all attributes. The significant portion of respondents ranging from 38 to 53% feel that these descriptions do not apply to him, reflecting the challenges Trudeau faces in building trust among the public. 
and it's bad. It's as absolutely as bad as I just, as it sounds, as you think it's sound. Here's the, here it is right here. So <clears throat> the question, as you can see there is, would you say each of the following describes Justin Trudeau? Well, somewhat or not at all describing Justin Trudeau, all respondents. And remember it was 1700. And if you look down at the key down here, you'll see it says green is describes him well, light green is somewhat pink. I'll call that pink is not at all. And gray is they don't have an opinion. He safeguards confidential information, 18% and 30% combined. 32% say not at all. He acts according to his principles, even when it is difficult or inconvenient. 43% not, not at all. I think 43% are really saying that he doesn't have any principles, but he values others. <laughs> Come on. I can't even read this one. straight. Away. He values others' opinions and treats them with dignity. He doesn't uh, seem to, I don't see, I've never seen him do that. I mean, he might, he might not necessarily be, uh, you know, throwing, throwing uh, insults across the room, but he never treats people like he, he never talks to people like he values their opinion. He always tells talks like he doesn't care what you think. If you don't agree with him, there's something wrong with you. And I think that the numbers reflect that. Whereas you look at 47% of people think not at all 47%, which means they asked 1700 people and roughly 800 of them said not at all. He does what he says he will do 52%. Not at all. Not at all. Now we're into some bad numbers, right? Because if you look on the far right, you can see that 48% is higher than the 32. So the, the somewhat positive is higher than the flat out negative. And you know, we will, you need to exclude the gray because basically they're saying I abstain, right? Now we go, the next question is 43% versus 45%, right? Because if you take the two greens and you combine them, they become 45%. And then there's 43%. Now we're at, at question three, his opinions with treats people with dignity. The negative outweighs the positive 47 versus 44. Does he say what he like, does he does what he say he will do. Now we're 50%, 52% versus 40%. He treats everyone fairly and without bias. I think that would be 99%. However, people said 50% versus 40% that gave him uh, combined, uh, combined, right? You have to say, right? He takes responsibility for his actions and corrects mistakes when they occur. Like I have no idea who these people are. They gave him 37 38% of respondents agreed with that. I don't agree with that one at all. I mean, I watched the guy, I see the clips. This person doesn't take responsibility for anything ever. However, 53% of people agree that he's not doing anything. And that's a, that's a staggering number, right? Like, you know, we've all talked about, I, I have spoken openly about my position on, on getting, on putting concrete in polling, right? But when you're talking about over half and the, 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 the pool is 1800 or 1700, I mean, man, oh man, that is a, that is a very negative, that's extremely negative. He is open and honest about his actions, decisions, and intentions. <laughs> I mean, 38% again? Come on. He delivers reliable and predictable results over time. I, I suppose he's reliably criminal, in my opinion. I suppose he's reliably a crook. He is reliably unreliable. All of those things seem to apply, in my opinion. I just really think that this is, a, this is horrible numbers. Horrible. You can't bounce back from this. He needs to get out of the way. He needs to allow the country to go to an election. Most of the people in this country don't trust him. This isn't whether or not you like him. This isn't whether or not you think that his socks are terrible. This is, do you trust him? And as you can see, this, they had to combine two groups of people and in most cases, that still didn't outweigh the number of people that do not trust him. You can't tell yourself that you're going to get votes when people don't trust you. And now, since they've had this polling, the Green Slush Fund 
trouble that's going on in the, in the House of Commons has come up. How the Liberals are desperately throwing, hoping that the NDP will give them a Hail Mary, which if they do, they both deserve to be thrown out of the House en masse. But that's a different video. I just wanted to show you that this was quietly released. There wasn't too many people talking about it. And this is a staggering piece of information. A, a, like what they would call the death knell, right? The, this explodes any any um, idea that people trust the liberal government, right? It's not whether or not you like him. It's whether or not you trust them. And over 53% of the Canadian population does not even trust them. I mean, what are we doing? Let's just get out of the way, bud. You had your run. You screwed everything up. People are upset at you. Take your money and get on a jet and leave. Go to a non-extradition country. That's my advice to you, just Mr. Trudeau. <sighs> All right. I'm going to wrap here. I want to thank you for listening. I'll talk to you next time.